The Gospel of Matthew tells the good news that Jesus is the promised Savior for both Jews and the whole world. It covers Jesus' birth, baptism, ministry, and his final week leading to his crucifixion and resurrection. Matthew presents Jesus as a great teacher with authority to interpret God's law. His teachings are organized into five key collections, covering topics like the Sermon on the Mount, discipleship, and the Kingdom of Heaven. The first passage lists the genealogy of Jesus, tracing his lineage from Abraham through David, Solomon, and several generations, down to Joseph, the husband of Mary. It highlights 14 generations from Abraham to David, 14 from David to the Babylonian exile, and 14 from the exile to the birth of Jesus, who is called the Messiah. This is Mary. Mary lived about 2,000 years ago in Israel, in a town called Nazareth. One day, when she was alone at home, a messenger from God appeared to her, an angel. Mary was scared, but the angel said to her, Mary, don't be afraid. God wants to give you a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be called the Son of God, and will be a king of all the peoples. But wait, Mary responded, confused. How can that be possible, since I've never even slept with a man before? God himself will be the Father, and his Spirit will cause you to become pregnant. Well then, Mary replied, I trust in God, and I believe that what you said will happen. Mary was engaged to a man named Joseph. When he found out that she was pregnant, he was really upset. One night he was thinking it over. The child isn't mine. But what should I do? I could publicly accuse Mary of committing adultery, but then she would most likely be sentenced to death. Maybe it would be best to just leave her secretly and quietly slip away. While he was thinking about all of this, he fell asleep. He had a dream in which he also was visited by an angel who said to him, Joseph, take Mary as your wife. She's telling the truth. The child really is from God. Name him Jesus, because he will be the one who can set everyone free from their sin. So Mary and Joseph got married, but they didn't sleep with each other until after Jesus was born. <laughs>